A uh, round of applause for DJ T. Sir Skate. Right? Um, that guy must have a big penis if his motorcycle is that loud. Um, he has plenty of business cards. If you need a DJ, please pick it up and give him the business back because he's helping us out. Alright? Okay, are you guys ready for your next comment? Alright, this then next comment. Fantastic meal off the grill tonight. Let's hear it for everybody that's here tonight. Everybody working very hard here. Check them even if they don't have tip jars out. Take care of them because they bust their ass here for you, and you don't get good service everywhere, do you? I was at an Olive Garden once by mistake, and uh, I say by mistake because I wanted Italian food that night. Olive Garden's not Italian food. It's Perkins with basil. That's it. And the waitress that night, she brought the check and she brought it in that that little final book, you know. They give you, they bring it to you. It's like here's a check with you. Have you ever read it? It's like a little trapper keeper. It says, "You owe me money, fucker." Right? That one. And in the one pocket, the waitress put the check. In the other pocket, she put a picture of her three-month-old baby. Aww. She was tugging at a heart that does not exist. <laughs> I left her a condom. <laughs> I didn't make you much, but I just saved you about two hundred thousand dollars. What an awesome show to be at! What an awesome audience, folks. I myself uh, last had a drink March twelfth, two thousand twelve. Three and a half years. I'll tell you what, life has gotten nothing but better. I can tell you as of this year, I am for the first time 100% totally, completely out of debt. I did it! Yeah. I did it! I went bankrupt! Yeah! Oh, it feels good to have that shit paid off. Raise your hand if you've ever gone bankrupt, unless you're on a date. Well, I've never had that many people raise their hand in an audience before. I have found my people. What's your name, sir? Ted. Was bankruptcy the best thing you ever did in your life? Not the best? What's the best? Don't say acid, okay? What's the best, Ted? Aside from Mary and the woman, or what? Okay, good. All right, all right. The next best, right? And you got to, but guess what? You go bankrupt, you get to keep your car. You get to keep your house, yeah. get to keep your furniture, yeah. get to keep all the shit you didn't tell them you had. Yeah. The only thing you lose is that asshole calling you every day. <laughs> there is no downside, folks. You know, hey, quit looking at me like I'm a piece of shit, please, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me, woman. A friend of mine tried to guilt me for going bankrupt. She's like, John, you know what you were getting into when you got those credit cards. I said, so did they. <laughs> we played a game and I fucking won. That's the problem. Here. Don't gamble with money you can't afford to lose. That's the lesson. <laughs> Ted, we're in good company. Did you know that? Abraham Lincoln went bankrupt. All right, Harry Truman, twice bankrupt, President of the United States. H.J. Hines, Hines Ketchup, bankrupt. Mark Twain, the author, bankrupt. Folks, if bankruptcy is good enough for the entire city of Detroit, Michigan, <laughs> it is good enough for me and Ted, okay? Because I had no, it was no mom and pop shops, no personal loans. I had three creditors, three only. Capital One, Citibank, and Bank of America. Three companies that wouldn't hesitate to stick it to you, so I stuck it to them for you. Best thing I ever did, man. I'm doing it again in seven years. That's my new investment strategy. I call it strategic debt accumulation and release.
Raise your hand if you have student loans. Raise your hand if you have student loans. All right, what's your answer? Gene, didn't they tell you that's the one thing you can't go bankrupt on, right? Bullshit. Put it on your credit card. <laughs> Figure it out, Gina. <laughs> you know, and I used to, like, when I was a kid, here's the thing, I realized finally, you get older, you sober up a little, you realize that money's not everything. Money doesn't mean rich. Okay, what rich is? Rich is good friends. Rich is good family. Rich is healthy living and a good food to eat, a place to live, and good people to be around. Okay, I was at an airport. I listen to these two guys talking at the bar. One pulls out his phone to his buddy. He's like, dude, check out my bag. He said it just like that. I couldn't stop. I'm like, ah, ah, it's, uh, I don't know you, but hey, can you just say BMW like somebody who's not a total douchebag? He's like, oh, no, dude, this isn't just a BMW. This is a BMW 435. I. This is a Beamer. I'm like, whatever, I drive a Kia. <laughs> I'm like, where were you snobs anyway? They're like, oh, we were just partying in the Hamptons. I'm like, Christmas, I just stayed at the Hampton Inn. <laughs> That's all you need. You don't need, uh, Hampton Inn is all you need in a hotel. The hell with the Sheridan or the Radisson or the Hilton, all that bullshit, foofy, foo foo, hundred dollar a night, too much hotel. Shit, man. I was staying one time. I did a show for a company in Des Moines, Iowa. They put me up at the Sheridan, whatever. And then, but they take care of the room, but they didn't take care of the incidentals. And I get there and I'm trying to check my email on my phone, and I got no signal because I have AT and T. Heavy emphasis on the telegraph part. And so I figured I'd log on to their system, right? They, and get on their e e on the internet. They wanted thirteen dollars to get on the internet. That's bullshit. What thir it's free at the motel six for crying out loud. Pays it thirteen dollars, but they have me by the ball, so I'm like, fine. I log on to their network, I put in my credit card, I log on to my Gmail, I had one new email. A receipt for thirteen dollars. <laughs> Credit card. So. <laughs> we know who won that game. <laughs> and I, I know if I had ten million dollars, my life wouldn't change. Except I could help people instead of do greedy shit. Check this out. You know what? These shoes, twenty-one dollars at Marshalls. If I had ten million dollars, I'm gonna go to Marshalls and get shoes for twenty-one dollars. These jeans, thirteen bucks at Target. I got $10 million, I'm getting jeans for 13 bucks at Target. This shirt, check it out, bitches! <laughs> I got this at Goodwill today for $2.99. This is a nice shirt, isn't it, man? It better be for $2.99, I'll tell you that. Goodwill, today, right over there. Smell it, it still smells like Goodwill. It does. It's good. My girlfriend gets mad at me for shopping at Goodwill. She's like, that's gross. I'm like, baby, I'm not buying underwear there. Relax, okay? Oh, they have nice stuff at Goodwill. Serious. You got a Goodwill in Beverly Hills? Shit, that's like the Nordstrom rack over there. <laughs> I told her, I'm like, baby, come to Goodwill with me. You'll find something you like, I promise. She goes, I'm not wearing dead people's clothes. <laughs> I <laughs> said, maybe they lost weight and don't need your size anymore. <laughs> that was a long month on the sofa. Okay. She did not laugh like you guys did. <laughs> Gotta go in a second. Again, I want to thank you folks for a fun time on here and keep it happy. And you know what, like, I had to quit drinking because comedy's a tough business. You're always working in places they serve alcohol. And I have a drinking problem without that, okay? I'll find the place. <laughs> and 
I think, like, what? She, I tried joining AA first, and then I thought they were too strict. <laughs> rules, rules, rules. Uh, I thought maybe if they'd let you have one or two bumps at the meetings, people wouldn't be so pissy all the time. <laughs> And I thought I'd join moderation management. I figured they were easier to work with. Their motto is, oh, you don't have to quit, quit. I'm like, sign me up. You know what the first step in recovery was? Easy on the Jagermeister. How hard is that? You know what the second step was? Hey, buddy, I said easy on the Jagermeister. Put it this way, you know you're drinking too much when the deaf girl you're hitting on tells you to get the fuck up. Thank you for having me. My name is John DeVore. I'm going to